Hi, uh, in, in this video I'm going to show you how to direct proof determinant a times b equal to determinant of a times determinant of b and all the matrices a and b are 3 by 3 matrices and here we're talking about a 3 by 3 matrix I've seen a YouTube video uh, to prove 2 by 2 uh, but 3 by 3 is actually a um, very similar concept except that it actually a lot of terms you know to show so first uh, I want to show you some background about the 3 by 3 uh, matrix and how to compute uh, the 3 by 3 matrix determinant so they say I have a matrix A and I define it this way A1 one, one is the first element of and the, the first row first column A11 A12 is the, the second one the first row second column and A13 then the second co column the second row is A21 a two two and a two three. And third row is a three one, a three two, a three three. Okay, so this is three by three matrix. So the determinant of a is computed by, uh, so the past terms, a one one times a two two, times a three three. And the A21, A32 times A13. And then uh, A31, A12 times A23. And those three positive terms. In the negative terms, A31 times A22 times A13. And A32 times A23 times A11. And uh, A21 times A12 times A33. So those are three uh, negative terms. Okay. So the negative terms in this way determinant of A is equal to A11 times A22 times A33. And plus the second one, A21 times A32 times A13. And the third one is uh, <coughs> A31 times A12 times A23. So these are the three positive uh, terms. And the negative terms, I have three. Uh, A31. times A, uh, A22 times A13 and then the second one is A32 uh, A23 times A11 and the last one is A33 times <coughs> uh, A21 times Or times 812 so totally six terms so you can compute this by 3 factorial so you go to 3 times 2 times 1 you go to 6 so you have six terms here now if I compute A times B so A times B okay and similarly I define B this way B defined by B11, B12, B13, B21, B22, B23, and then B31, B32, and B33. Okay. So when you do A times B, so simply you want to uh, take one row of A and times one column of B. So basically, 
and let me use different color purple so you take one row of A times one column of B and that will be an element in the A times B so the uh, the first element of A times B is A11 times B11 plus A12 times B21 plus A13 times uh, B31 okay and similarly the second one is the first row A times the sec or second column of B so the second element of A times B is A11 times B12 plus A12 times B22 plus A13 times B32 and so forth so you have another seven elements yeah I omit it so you should be able to figure it out now before we get into <coughs> the proof we need to find out number of terms are uh, generated by each weight of computing determinants so first if we compute determine the A determine B so obviously there are six terms each okay so as you can see that earlier and if we do determine A time determine B because each of them six terms so totally you have 36 terms now if you do the multiplication first A times B then uh, <coughs> A times B has elements with three eighteen terms of two numbers modified together. So we see earlier. So totally, if you can put determinant A of B, so you have three three eighteen terms together. So totally, you have three to the power of three, uh, twenty seven terms times three factorial. Totally, there are one hundred sixty two terms. Okay, compared to the 30, 36 terms if you compute the determinant A first and then times determinant B then there are 77.78 percent redundant over the uh, the terms they cancel out okay and we're gonna see it but if you increase the dimension from 3 to 4 then uh, you are gonna have a lot of uh, terms to check so totally you have 6144 terms but only 576 are actually do computation you know majority of them are cancelled out okay so here are all the 162 terms uh, generated by determine a times b okay so as you can see that the first one uh, it's A11 times A21 times A31 uh, times B11 times B12 times B13 and I put a plus at the end to indicate that this is a positive term okay and I put a negative at the negative terms so uh, obviously you can see that there's positive terms here and the negative terms here so they cancel out so in this case you have three repeated positive terms and three repeated negative terms so they all cancel out so I put a delete layer okay so totally they are <coughs> quite a few delays, deleted terms so only 36 will survive and those 36 survived from determine A times B is actually the 36 we computed directly from determine A times determine B okay so these are the 36 terms okay and half of them are positive terms half of them are negative terms so in case you're interested in how, how do I compute these so here is the program I computed. Uh, the program is in Python, and I share with you the code uh, later. Okay, basically, um, the key of this program is to uh, <coughs> have the loop to generate permutation. Okay, and from the beginning. Okay, so this is a permutation test. Basically, I want to you know, permute the 1, 2, 3 to the permutation. So it generates six outcomes 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, non repeatable. And I use these uh, three 
nested loops you have to do it okay then the second thing I try to test the, the list okay so if I list the a B and C okay then I can join them it can ABC that's how I generate this and followed by I define the matrix a using the symbol using the list of lists okay so a is defined like this okay and then I can reference you know the element in the list using the a or sub a sub one sub one that will refer to the a two two okay same thing what define the b matrix b similarly and then uh, here I do the uh, <coughs> a times b okay a times a using the list of lists okay or definition so this is a Python index so I can uh, actually generate a list of lists okay uh, the reason I put all the elements into lists uh, because then I can sort it now. So here, this routine is to to check if um, the permutation is a positive permutation or negative permutation in determining the positive or negative of the terms. Then I got to find the main loop. Main loop actually there are six next loops like this. Okay. And at the end, I try to you know um, create the new um, list and put it into the list, okay? So that uh, I can uh, sort them out, so that easy to compare. And this is a routine I write it you know to detect the or uh, the same terms but the negative or uh, uh, the opposite sign, so they cancel out, okay? So th this routine will cancel the positive negative uh, terms okay and so that's the result output you've seen that earlier so on, uh, among the 162 terms only a 36 survive and the last routine you know, I try to uh, verify uh, if I do the determinant first okay and then it turned out that the 36 terms are here then I compare these 36 terms generated by direct computation of determine A times determine B uh, to the determine A times B and they are the same. So that's N. Okay, if you have questions, you know, please thumb up and subscribe. Thank you.